Okay, it is two o'clock, so I think we'll get started. Hello, everyone, and a huge warm welcome to this very special Into the Workplace live stream for Hackney New Primary School. Um, this live stream is especially for the pupils at Hackney New Primary School. So a big hello to everyone who's joining us this afternoon. I hope you're having a very lovely day. Um, I'll start by introducing myself. So my name's Alice and I'm from Inspire, which is a charity based in Hackney, not too far away um, from where you are today. And it's lovely to be joined by you all this afternoon. Um, the reason that I'm here is because you've just finished your Into the Workplace week, um, which is our virtual work week programme designed to help you learn all about the world of work um, and to discover lots of different industries and professions. So I really hope that you've enjoyed your week of activities around the world of work and different industries and professions. Um, today we're going to talk a bit about the work and the activities that you've done and share some of the amazing work that you've submitted. So as I'm sure you know, throughout the week you've been using the Into the Workplace timetable, which you can see here on my screen. Um, this is the Hackney New Primary School timetable, so it's especially for all of you. And it's full of lots of different activities about different industries, different professions, um, we've had volunteers sending in videos from loads of different industries. So hopefully you've had the chance to do at least some of the activities on this timetable. As I say, you've sent in some amazing work, which I'll be showing later. So thank you for that. Um, the week started on Monday. Um, and as you can see, Monday was called Step Into The Workplace. So this is when you had the chance to first step into the workplace, by which I mean you got to go into our um, virtual into the workplace website and explore lots of different workplaces. So we had a hospital, we had a construction site, we had an office, we had a restaurant, and we had a theatre, and we had a science lab. Um, so hopefully you have the chance to explore these different workplaces and virtually meet some of the volunteers who work in these different industries. Um, so maybe you learned about some new jobs that you hadn't heard about before, maybe some different industries. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed exploring these workplaces and watching some of the videos from our lovely volunteers. Then for the rest of the week, we explored um, some of the different industries which we highlighted in the um, Into the Workplace virtual website. So on Tuesday, as you can see, we focused on the science industry. Um, so we looked at space and this was led by the lovely astrophysicist Becky. Um, so we had some great work submitted all about space and the science industry, which I'll be sharing shortly. On Wednesday, we looked at the healthcare industry um, and we were talking about medicine led by Vaki the doctor. On Thursday, it was the food industry um, led by Hannah the baker. And on Friday, it was the construction industry um, led by Haley the civil engineer. So I hope that you enjoyed um, learning all about these different industries. Um, it's been absolutely lovely to see the work that you've been sending in. Um, so I'm gonna showcase some of the work that we got now. Um, starting with some work that we had from the space industry. So we had loads of people talking about jobs that they might like to explore in the space industry. Um, the piece that I'm going to share now, the people sent in a lovely drawing of themselves. So as you can see here, I hope you can see that on my screen. Um, this people draw a picture of themselves looking into a telescope. So I think we can see here loads of stars in the night sky. We can see a moon, I think that is in the corner. And I think this is a shooting star. So a really amazing picture. Thank you so much to these people for submitting this. And we have a short sentence to go with it. So they said, I would like to be an astronomer because I think seeing the outer space mysteries and its sights is really cool. I totally agree. There are still so many things that we don't know about outer space. And that's something which our workplace professionals talked about this week. Um, so it would be a really cool job to be able to look at these mysteries and maybe in the future solve some, who knows. Um, the second piece of work that I'd like to share with you today is from the food industry. So one of the group challenges that we set for you this week was to come up with your own food menu for a restaurant. And I'm going to say I'm really happy that I've had my lunch already because reading these menus has made me really hungry. They sound really, really delicious. The one that I'm sharing now has three courses. So as a starter, we have bread and butter. As a main, we have pizza. And a dessert, we have brownie and ice cream. So you can see this people's done a lovely picture of the brownie and ice cream here. And they've put two labels on that says, yummy, yummy. I totally agree. That sounds absolutely delicious. And finally, some of you might have had the chance to put together a business fact file. So this could be all about a business that you already know about, or it might be that you were creative and came up with your own business. So we had some really, really cool businesses submitted. Someone did a sushi business. We've had loads of 
um, people looking at cake businesses. So Hannah the Baker will be very pleased to hear all about these. And the piece of work that I want to share now is for a business called Cake Shake. So I absolutely loved this name. I loved the rhyme Cake Shake. And this people has said that their industry will be in bakes, cakes and milkshakes. Delicious. And their business will sell milkshakes, coffee, muffin and cakes. And as you can see, we've got a lovely picture to go alongside this. So this people's drawn themselves selling their cakes. Um, it looks like a really, really lovely cafe. Um, we've got some donuts in the background. We've got some muffins, some lovely looking cakes. Um, so this is a really great business idea. And I can't wait to come and visit Cake Shake once it opens. Um, so thank you so much for submitting that. As I say, I've absolutely loved seeing all of the work that you've handed in. Um, and I can't wait to see any more that you've got. Um, it looks like you've had some really great ideas. And I hope that you've all had a good time learning about the different industries, um, virtually meeting some of the professionals, some of our volunteers. And I hope that you've all had the chance to start to think about maybe what you would like to do in the future. And this leads nicely into our final challenge of the week. So as you can see on our timetable, at the very end, the green column, there is chance for a final challenge. It might be that you've already done this, but don't worry if not, because you have until after half term to do this. And what we would like you to do is write a letter. So this is your opportunity for you to write your very own letter to one of our workplace professionals. So we have lots of volunteers, lots of workplace professionals who are ready to reply to your letters. And they want to know all about everything that you've done this week, everything that you've learned about, all the activities you've done, and also about your dream job. So this is your chance to think about what you might like to do in the future and what your dream job might be. You can write a letter to one of our volunteers, telling them all about it. Two letters will be selected from each class and then you will receive a reply, a reply from one of our volunteers. So think really carefully about what makes a good letter. I'm sure this is something that you might have talked about before in class. Um, and when you have the chance, you'll write your letters, you'll give them to your teacher. Your teacher will select two, send them to us and we'll send them to the volunteers who will write their replies. They're all really excited to hear about what you've got to say. I'm really excited to receive your letters and I hope that you're looking forward to writing them too. Hopefully some of the workplaces that you've looked at this week will give you some inspiration for what you would like to do as your dream job, that you can be as creative as you like. I can't wait to hear all about them. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed your week um, and I hope that you have a nice rest of day. See you all later.